I have always wondered why the speaker addressing the graduating class always faces the audience. We're going to change that this year and you'll get my better side. Forty-eight years ago, I sat where you're sitting today. I don't remember one word of what the speaker had to say. And that's probably going to be true again today. However, to correct that problem, what I'm sharing with you today, I have printed on a small card that will be underneath your graduation diploma. So that in five years or ten or fifty, you can look at it and see if there was any truth to it and how well you did. I've entitled my address to you 16 plus 4. Since you are the class of 2016, I've chosen 16 things I think you should consider as you enter college and life as an adult. And finally, four life lessons or challenges that we hope you take with you as you conclude your four years of high school and leave BCHS for the world of adulthood and independence. So here we go. 16 things worth knowing as you graduate from high school and enter college. Number one, be on time. To class, to appointments with professors and to those you've made commitments to. Number two, sit in the front of the class. Professors notice this, it makes you more attentive and you won't fall asleep as easily. Number three, don't play on your iPhone or laptop while the professor is lecturing. They know, and they know you're not looking something up on Google. Contrary to popular belief, the human brain does not allow us to multitask. We are capable of concentrating only on one thing at a time, unless it's physiological like walking and talking. Number four, get a job <laughs> while in college. Even if it's only for a few hours per week, sooner or later the gravy train, aka your parents, will end. Get used to it sooner rather than later. Everyone should experience what it means to show up on time and put in a hard day's work and have a boss before they start their career. Number five, there is no extra credit in college or life. Get used to it. Number six, know how to balance a checkbook. Of course, you'll need to get a checking account first and some money to put in it, hopefully your own. Number seven, Number seven, please stop texting and driving. We want to see you graduate, and we want to see you graduate. Number eight, say thank you. It's becoming a lost art. Say it often. When someone holds the door, or picks something up for you, or compliments you, say thank you. Say thank you to the janitors at your school the cafeteria workers and the librarians, they don't hear it enough, and it means the world to them. That includes your parents to say thank you to as well. <laughs> Number nine, try to minimize the use of the first person pronoun. You know what those are? They're words like me and I. Make life about other people. Along that same line, cut down on the selfies. At the very least, make sure that other people are in the picture. <laughs> Better yet, take pictures of them and not yourself. <laughs> Number 10, pick up the trash. Yours and others, it makes the campus and the world a better place. Number 11, don't be afraid to say I don't understand or to ask for help. Professors and fellow classmates are more than happy to help. 
being humble enough to ask for help is a sign of strength and not weakness. Number 12, volunteer. Somewhere, volunteer. Especially for those that have less than you. Giving of yourself makes you appreciate what you have. Number 13, be thankful. Do you know the odds of getting a royal flush on the first five cards that are dealt to you? They're one in 650,000. Do you know the odds of winning a $350 million jackpot in the Mega Millions contest? One in 175 million. Now listen to this. Do you know the odds of being born in this particular time, in this particular place and circumstance? The odds of that are one in 400 trillion. And you didn't have anything to do with that. <laughs> so be thankful. Number 14, don't worry about what other people think. Think for yourself. Be yourself. And don't try to be the self that you think will make you popular or desirable. Only you are responsible for you, your actions or inaction, your thoughts, your words, your decisions, they're yours. Mom and dad aren't responsible for you anymore. Number 15, don't be jealous of others' success. It will never bring you happiness. Celebrate others' success. And number 16, write notes or letters, the kind with a pen and ink and an envelope and a stamp. Please keep those. People like to receive letters and notes, handwritten, and they never delete them. And now for life lessons and challenges. Very simple, but very challenging. Number one, be a contributor, not a critic. There are lots of critics. Believe me, you will be a happier, more balanced person if you are a contributor. Number two, you are a reflection of the company you keep. Enough said. Number three, it's not about what you have, it's about who you are. In the end, your character is the one thing that you have total control over. Know who you are, know what you believe, know what you stand for, don't believe something because your friends do or your parents do. Know what you believe and why you believe it. And finally, number four, and most importantly, absolutely most importantly, honor God. A wise man said this, before you speak about your religion, First, show it in how you treat other people. Before you say how much you love your God, show us how much you love his creation and all of his children. Before you preach to others about your passion for your faith, teach us about it through your compassion for your neighbor. In the end, people are not as interested in what you tell them about your faith as they are in how you choose to live it and to whom you give glory. Congratulations, class of 2016. We love you, soar high, and honor God.